Bloomsburg students and faculty learned some crucial steps to saving a person's life today. A stop the bleed training held by Geisinger taught them what to do if they ever came across a person who could potentially die due to the loss of blood. Eyewitness News reporter Ravithi Janaswamy attended that training and she's live for us in the studio tonight. What did you learn, Ravithi? Candace, officials tell me that the number one cause of death in trauma patients and injured people in the United States is life-threatening bleeding. Instructors say that's why it's important for those without medical training to learn how to stop the bleed. Students and faculty from Bloomsburg University learned to stop the bleed on Tuesday. They learned techniques to stop life-threatening bleeding. You can bleed to death in three to five minutes from arterial bleeding. Instructors and officials determined that this kind of training is necessary due to the number of active shooter incidents happening worldwide. Unfortunately, it's not a good thing, you know, but I believe that we all need to know how to react when this does, if it does happen, we need to know how to react. But Harahas says this training is used more frequently in everyday accidents and injuries. Car accidents, industrial accidents, um, falls, broken glass, um, and everyday accidents and injuries are really the main reason as to why we're seeing this used right now. Harahas says one of the most crucial techniques to stop bleeding is to apply pressure, followed by packing the wound. What does that mean? So if we don't have a tourniquet available for the arms or legs, um, or it's one of the junctional areas, neck, shoulder, or groin, we're actually going to pack um, gauze or cloth into that wound and then hold pressure um, as hard as we can. He says people should learn how to stop the bleed because often bystanders can reach those who are hurt faster than official emergency personnel. Even making a difference in saving one life is, is a huge difference. And he's seen just how well the training has worked. I had some people who have sat in this class who've had no medical background um, actually put this training to use and have saved lives because of it. Harahes says he's now seeing patients arriving at trauma centers with tourniquets on them because people are using the training they've received. Live in the studio, Ravithi Janaswamy, Eyewitness News. Interesting. Ravithi, thank you. And from 2017 to 2019, Geisinger has taught 2,100 people these life-saving techniques.